Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo 200k nightfall run on Warden and Nothing. As you can see, I'm using Void Walker, obviously for the grenades. I've got Controverse Holds on, which, as you guys should know by now, gives me my grenades back pretty quickly. Seventh Seraph Officer Revolver. Warmind Orbs are really good. We've got an Unstoppable mod on it, and the Timed Payload actually increases the damage that it does considerably. Ariana's Vow. What more can you say about it? Barrier Champions, really good for DPS on normal adds as well. Now the sword I'm using, Relentless Strikes and Whirlwind Blade. Relentless Strikes is right, right shoulder. Keep tapping that and you do more damage. It's got a Disruption mod on it. Passive Guard, Global Reach and Ashes to Assets on my Bond. Ashes to Assets, more super for grenade kills. Passive Guard gives me a massive damage uh, reduction while I've got the sword out. Special Ammo Scavenger, Enhanced Sword Scavenger. I've got, as you can see, I've got some, some Warmind mods on. And I'll explain them as we're going through why I've used them. Uh, I always go with Fastball, Light Arms Loader, and Heavy and Special uh, Finder on my helmet. So I went with the Warmind mods because they're really good for situational damage. I've got Global Reach, which does more damage. I take less damage when, when uh, from adds that are near a Warmind Orb and solar, solar Explosive damage. That's the three mods I've got on. So I'm just going to use the sword so I can just swipe and run. So the, the Seventh Seraph is good, but this is the 1030, so I'm only just above the level of it. I'll tell you, up until the boss, it's kind of straightforward, and then just before the boss, it gets crazy with the amount of champions. So we're going to put a grenade down there. It's usual fare for this part of the... It's what I usually do. I'm actually in the wrong position here. You'll see me change my position when I realise there's a, there's a little kind of... A little piece of cover you can get into. So as you can... There it is there, right in front of us. And if we're taking a bit of damage, we can just crouch under here. I'm trying to get a warm mind orb to, to, to come. One of, the, one of the modifiers is exploder units that have basically more health they're more tanky so those exploders they, they are really kind of tanky normally you get a warming uh, orb spawn here and, and, and it's radius is crazy you see how much health that exploder had so i never got one so i'm just going to charge a grenade and throw it up by that overload and uh not die from the electric pull the, expl the, the exploder left so Got a bit of special, so I probably could have just pulled Ariana. You'll see me do it here. There's the Warmind Orb. So, with these guys, I normally go airborne and then land in front of them. I don't take so much damage. But what I noticed with the with the, the disruptive Minotaurs, you really have to hit them sometimes, quite a few times before it stops them. So just be aware of that when you're actually attacking them. Sometimes they won't stop immediately. So we're going to get in here, kill this guy, activate the train. Now, something really weird happened with this train. You'll see it here. Uh, I jumped round because I never had my sword out. As you can see, I changed the Ariana by accident and got trapped and it was dragging me back. So I just swiped at the last moment. Not a big deal. So I'm going to use my sword for no other reason than just speed. Because I don't want to have to wait because I'm impatient. So, I don't want to have to wait for the train to go past a second time. So, I'm going to leave that guy there and just run straight down, slide under. We're good. Get straight on the sparrow here. And remember, to dodge left to right, depending on where the train's coming. All kind of usual stuff. As you can see, that, that, that guy tagged you a few times. Sword out. And then we'll take out this goblin. Then we're just going to attack straight away. We've got an unstoppable here, but that's cool. Um... Uh, Passive guard really helps us in a lot of places in this strike. So as soon as as soon as you take him, run back. Avoid avoid that explosive barrel and you'll be fine. We want to get we want to get this guy to come as close to us as unstoppable and we're just gonna go after him with a sword. Now the reason I'm using the sword a fair amount is I'm trying to conserve special ammo. Now the reason I'm trying to conserve special ammo is because famine's on. So, you really kind of have to, you know, swap out weapons just to make sure you're getting a decent amount of 
of ammunition back. Now you see that one mind orb. I'm just going to put a couple of shots on it. I'm not going to break it. Got a bit special there. I'm not going to pick it up just yet. And when you shoot that war mind orb, it's going to burn the champion as well. So what I've done is a couple of shots, take the shield down, and then just hit a couple of shots, and then reload manually. Reload. Don't give these guys a chance to get their shield back too many times. And as you can see, piece of cake. Got special there as well. So I'm going to use the sword just for running, running gun. Now we're going to have a two champions in this next section now somebody in chat because i've done all this live on my my twitch channel i i, I stream every night about 8 8 30 every night for a fair amount of hours you should come over and check me out these are the sort of things i do on the stream so if you guys have enjoyed the strategies and the videos in the past be worthwhile coming to see me do it live uh, i'll leave a link in the description anyway and i hope to see you guys there but this, actually, this run I'd done, I'd kind of finished for the night, and it was the end of the stream, and, and chat convinced me to do another one, and this is the run. So, sometimes it is good to have people there to motivate you. So, what, we, what we've done with this first champion, there is a barrier up the back. So, now, what I would suggest, as you can see, when you stop an unstoppable, do not attack if he's too far away. The only way, well, when I say that, I mean, don't run at him if he's too far away. As you can see with that one, I stopped him, but he was too far away for me to actually, you know, by the time I got to him, he was, if you like, coming around by the time I got to him, so I struggled with, to put him down with the sword. Take this barrier out from all the way back up here. You can see we've got, we've got some, uh, I'm doing the same thing. I'm not damaging him all the way till he gets his shield. I'm manually reloading. Simply because we want to keep up that DPS. We don't want to give them a chance. <clears throat> multiple shield breaks means multiple special shots used. Uh, and I feel like special, the special economy for me in this was the worst. Again, sword, just so that I can move quickly. It's, it's, it's a time thing. I'm using that center kind of, this kind of console as, as a bit of cover from the snipers. And as you can see, I get tagged a couple of times here. Now, I'm going to drop back and we're going to throw a grenade over here. And just be just be careful here. I've put a well down. And now we're just going to hit the... Now, one thing you can do is you can, as long as that, you could, I'd done it in a previous run. I thought I'd killed the, the Vex Hydra. I thought I'd killed it and I moved and, and the ads never spawned in. I managed to get into position before the ads spawned. Again, same thing here with the champions. Uh, the champions over here are pretty easy to take. I, I shot that war mind and that, that forced my hand. Normally I would take I would take the one on the other side and then go up to the other side and shoot across this one, but the damage I'd done with the War Mind cell made it made it easy to, to make that decision. So, again, when you're throwing grenades or shooting across, just be mindful of those trains. We'll just take these last couple of enemies. There's another barrier up to our left. Now, the idea is we want to clear quite a few ads. There's the barrier. I'll get tagged here. That's cool. I've got a... I was getting behind this console anyway. And we'll take out this barrier. Again, as you can see what we're doing here. There's an ad in front of me, but the train will help me out there. It's no problem. I probably would have just shot him anyway. But as you can see, if you if you get your shots in good, you know, uh, you time them, time them well enough, they shouldn't get a second shield break. So what I'm going to do is just... I'm going to put a couple of grenades over when I can. Now... I'm going to get hit here, and I was like, where am I getting hit from? It's the other Minotaur. So I'll go back here, have a look, see the other Minotaur. Yep, and toss that. Sometimes you'll aggro the Minotaurs, and they'll come running around at you. So this time that never happened. So what I'm going to do is I've got to clear a certain amount of these enemies before the boss is going to come in. As soon as the boss comes in, we're going to Nova and Sword. And uh, again, passive guards. You can see... 
boss is going to come in. We've got we've got the the text queue to say that that's going to happen. So hit an over now. But you do get hit here a few times, but passive guard really saves you. So it's it's not you're never going to get melted there because of passive guard. So what we're doing is hoovering up some ammunition. Special, special, special. But we know we had, we had quite a bit of special anyway. Uh, and there's some heavy down there. We'll grab that. This next section is the last of what... I mean, after this section, it's not difficult. It's still pretty straightforward. But this is the last of the really straightforward sections. After this, it gets crazy with the amount of champions that Bungie's packed in to the last part of this mission. Uh, strike. I have never done the 1030 before because you could get the hunt. You can get the 100k on Legend, and I've done it in a previous video. When I realised I could get 200k in this, that's what made it interesting to me. I'm going to start on the solo GM tonight on stream. I'm not. I'm not super confident of getting it if I'm being honest, but we'll see. You know, uh, the strategy needs to get worked out over the. You know, over the runs. And, but uh, you've got two champions here, which isn't actually too bad. And they're unstoppable. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus really on taking the champions and the, the ads. We're not going to bother with the wanted enemy. We're not. I, I never really bother about them. So as you can see, the champions in the back... Once we take down some of these ads, we'll push up far enough that he'll want to come at us. There's the wanted. Be careful of that wanted enemy because if he gets a good look at you, he'll fire those kind of suppressive rockets which suppress and damage. Now, you will have seen those. There, there here comes the unstoppable. You will have seen those. Uh, you see the, the, the unstoppable. It's kind of yellow. That's how you know you've got a warm end orb. Anything the war mind orb will hit, it will light up. And if you've got global reach on, <laughs> it, the name of the mod is not is, is not too f removed from it, the you know a literal description. You'll kill, you'll damage, kill, and hit things that you did not think it would touch. So this is perfect. So we're really close to him this time. And then I missed, but it's cool. You'll always get them down to... You'll always get the champions doing that. You'll always get them down to the point where you can finish them. So, a couple of more ads here. I'll just employ my grenade. Uh, what I was trying to do here is just get one of them low enough that uh, I could melee them. But, I mean, the Cabal, especially if they're paired up, they can be a bit of a nightmare with cr crossing over in front of each other and protecting each other but i thought i could have got the hit on him but i got my grenade back anyway so we've got two snipers two cabal and, and a, a shielded incendiar so take out the first scion there's a second scion over there the grenade goes on the incendiar which is fine and then we'll just take out these i'm as again just trying to conserve ammo it, actually the ammun the ammunition uh, situation in this this particular strike it wasn't actually too bad but i've i've had other ones ones where it's been pretty bad so you know that that's what i was basing it on now this is where it gets crazy for me this is where it gets crazy in this section you've got to start with you've got uh f four champions and then you get another three and a boss. It's 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 insane, but this isn't the. As I say, I hadn't I had never done this before, so I I was com totally unprepared for this. What I try and do is I try and stagger which champions I'm taking. So you've got uh, three Vex and a Cabal. So I want to leave the Cabal up because the. While the Cabal one's up, the Vex will focus on the Cabal, as you can see there. So what I'm going to do here is, the, we've got this Vex guy close to us, this Hobgoblin. And you've got the the, unstoppable, the, un, the 
Overlord and the other barrier fighting. Because they are doing damage against each other, it allowed me to push up. So, well, there's actually five here because there's two barrier. I forgot about that. There's two barrier. Uh, there's an unstoppable. There's three barrier, an unstoppable, and uh, overload. Ridiculous. So, you want to take Vex. I took. Uh, you want to even the numbers up. So I took the two Vex first, which left two Cabal and a Vex up. Then you take a Cabal, and that leaves these two guys fighting each other. So, as you can see, I, I can't. You can't. I, w I thought about it there attacking, but you really can't because that. Even though you've got passive guard on that unstoppable, the overload will still do big damage to you. So what we're going to do is try and damage this uh, this unstoppable. I don't want to compromise my position for the kill. So we've, we've, we've took him down quite low. We'll kill him here and then once we kill him, the overload has now noticed us and he's going to come at me. So now I can stop him from relative safety and kill him right here. Now we're going to get three more champions. There's eight champions in this area. So this is the way I do this area. You've got three plates. You've got 60 seconds before you need to step on the first plate. Once you're on the plate, as long as you stay on the plate, you can get onto the plate with a second left, one second left, and you'll still be able to do it as long as you don't come off the plate. So... I take out the three hobgob the three goblins that come out first and then turn my attention straight to this champion. And that's those ads. There's two more ads around here and there's an unstoppable. Now I was fortunate you don't the unstoppable doesn't you don't always get the chance to do this. Now you it, it's not a one off. I mean you can get this. As you can see when they when the champion starts firing his 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 uh, fire at you he's going to come for you. He'll start charging. That's what we wanted. So that's two champions down. And now we're going to throw a grenade over onto onto this side, onto all those Cabal. Now we just capture A. We're going to go to B next, the, the side we're facing now. And if I, when I get my grenade back, I'm going to pre-fire pre a grenade over there. You've also got uh, a, a Void Shielded Incender and a Void Shielded uh, Minotaur. As well as the champions. As if having eight champions here isn't enough. Having five when you get in here really shocked me. That really threw me. So again, sword just for run and gun and, and protection. Now I'm looking at and I'm, get, I'm getting shot. And I'm like, I don't see anything. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then all of a sudden, he's there. So the sword is really good for protection as well as damage. So that's all the champions down. There's, there's, there's. Uh, these are just like shielded enemies. That's why I picked a void sword. So I'll put the grenade down on top of those two and switch straight to the sword. And as you can see, I've still got 19 seconds till I needed to get on the plate. So, so just to recap how you do all of that. Uh, you take out. There's five champions when you get in there. Take the two Vex first, then take a Cabal, and that just leaves a Vex and Cabal. As long as there's opposing types, they'll fight each other. Then you take the three Goblins out that come out the first door. Then you toss a grenade and take take the... That will deal with the, the Elite Goblins coming round, and you take the first Champion. Then you could possibly take the second Champion. If, if the Unstoppable doesn't do what you've done in this, this run, what you can do is when you throw your grenade... You can stop him. He'll go over to where those ads were that you threw the grenade at. You can go over to those. I'll block here so that doesn't kill me. You can go over to those. You can throw the grenade. The unstoppable will go over there. And then you can you can stop him from there. And then the rest will be the same. As soon as you've captured the plates, you can see me. I went to the doorway on the right. I tossed a grenade and took out the elites. Then I've come back here, threw a grenade and took out the three phalanxes. You can take them out with Arianas, it's no problem. Because the big boss will come over to you, it'll come to the end of this walkway, and as long as you're here, where I am, he won't shoot at you. I don't know why. I don't think it's a ranged thing, because he's not that far away. But if you just keep him just there, and just keep his head visible, 
he'll just stand and take it. Now, if you're struggling for score, which, to be fair, if you're doing the 1030, then I'd be very surprised if you're ever struggling for score. As long as you put shots on enemies. You see, I've only put one shot on him. As long as you put one shot on the enemies before he's dead. When he's dead, this area will clear all the enemies. It just All the enemies will just auto-wipe. You'll get, you'll get the points for any enemies you've shot. So it's worthwhile trying to tag a few of them. So I'm doing a quick hoover. Just looking for as much special, 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 special. As much as I can get. There you go. I've got two cannon mods on. Uh, ammo mods. That's why, I'm, that's why I'm carrying 38. We're all good. Plenty of ammunition. Now to the boss room. Now when you drop down here. I'm going to say this right off the bat. Because it, it literally. The first time I come here was like. Why? What? Why? There's five champions. To, you don't get any more champions. Although you do get. Lots of enemies, and you get some bosses as well. But there are five champions. Now it's it's the it's kind of the same as when you came into that last room with the three plates, except this time you're only going to have one hobgoblin barrier, and you're going to have two cabal barriers, an unstoppable, and an overload. Like that's fair. So we're going to do it in reverse. We're going to take. One of the Cabal Barriers, then we're going to take the Vex Barrier, then we're going to take the other Cabal Barrier. The reason I'm taking the Barriers first is because the Overload and the Unstoppable just go each other. As you can see right in the middle, they, they don't like each other. So straight down, throw a, grenade on, I throw a grenade on the Barrier, and then we just want to break his shield. I'm not wanting to use too, too much special, and I just go after him with a sword. Soon as that happens, you can see now they are coming for me. I'm running, but, but don't worry. They, if they, if if as long as the overload is still up, or the you know the overload and unstoppable, if they look at you, it's it's like it's it it doesn't really matter because as long as the if you know the overload and the unstoppable is still up, they will always go after each other. So even if they look at you and start shooting at you, as long as you can get in cover, they'll re-engage against their the other enemy so as you can see pretty simple they're focused on other things they're not really focused on you so that's the two, that's all the barriers down as you can see i was a little bit too close on running because i i don't know if i'm being tracked and you can see that the on the overload was was chasing me and then he re-engaged so now what I'm doing is just taking him down. I don't really want to use... See, he come all the way over to me and then re-engaged. So I've stopped him, stopped the unstoppable. I do get hit here, but we get the sword out. And then I move away. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this pillar. Now this technique I'm doing now is very important for, in the boss room. It's like hide and seek. And we just, now we can stop him. And the idea is, as soon as we stop him, there he is, he's stopped, got a bit of ammo. Charge your grenade, because we're going to grenade and super the boss straight away. So, grenade, super, and then I'm going to go right back here into this. This is going to be your base of operations, this little cubby hole. Now, this gives you cover left and right as well. Now what you'll see is, we'll get, there we go, we've got a text to let us know that the ads are coming. So, in here, make sure that your weapons are reloaded, do whatever you need to do, because you are going to get pushed. Reload. As you can see, I'm anything but a straight shot here and I'm, I'm good. You know, I've got a well. And we've cleared out nearly all the amp cleared out nearly all the the enemies but the boss is pushing me so all the ads should be down now you see the boss is right there you do not have to run that i made that mistake a couple of times as soon as he came i was like oh i've got to go if you run he will hurt you he will do a lot of damage to you 
he will hurt you. <laughs> you know what I mean. He will start shooting at you. <laughs> so, I can't believe that he will hurt you. Who am I? <laughs> am I? Have I turned into someone from an action film? He will hurt you. Uh, so, you just use these pillars and you move around so that you keep him at the other side. Now, we've got the second wave and as you can see, he's took his next position. Same thing applies. Now, I'm just trying to get some shots on a couple of the enemies. If you stay in cover and don't make yourself known to the enemy, half the time they won't push you. But, I, you know, I'm impatient. I know I, I'd done this enough that I felt like I knew what I needed to do and how to do it. So... What basically, if, if when the ads were coming out, if I'd have stayed in my little my little kind of lane, so now we're going to move. Now we're going to move. Go between cover. All of these have got these little alcoves, and they're perfect. So yeah, I I knew that I knew I could take the, the enemies out before before they killed me. Now that I've I've moved, just we know we've got another enemy up, and it's just a little scion. Now I can do the same thing and just. I'm waiting to get super. That is what we're doing. Whenever you move between pillars, if you've got passive guard on and the sword, make sure you've got your sword out because passive guard will only block you if you've got your sword out. So I'll stick a grenade on him. Now we're just going to play a little bit of hide and seek with him. This will be the last. I thought I would have needed three supers. It's only two, really. So I'm just, you know, he want, he's doing his big kind of burny attack. Put a couple of shots, if, if you can, safely, but if you can put a couple of shots on them safely, don't, then, then do it, obviously. But don't, don't become, uh, you know, don't, don't, get, don't get into that situation where you're taking chances to get shots. As you can see, I am controlling the boss, that's the point of this. I'm controlling him. Now he's disappeared, he wants no more of it. Now he's went to his second position, but we've got a ton more ads. So, as you can see, if I was to just wait in here, see the ads are walking over, but they're not focused on me, they're fighting each other. If I make myself aware to them, I'm just, just biding my time, If I make myself too aware, or or uh, or if, if if I take too many chances, then I I I'll be in trouble. So I'm staying in, staying in this alcove. I can see that there's ads all around me, but that at the moment they're not really too bothered about me. I mean, it was probably just as much of a shock for that cabal guy. Just kill him with the, the sword, come back, we're all good. That was probably just as much of a shock for that cabal guy that he turned around and I was there. He wasn't focused on me, but any time you feel you're getting encroached, you've got your sword and you've got grenades. Use them. Don't don't run out into the open and, you know, take chances. So now, the boss is just there. He won't push us. He won't come over to our, our position now. So now, I could probably finish him. So we're just waiting for grenade or super, whichever one we we're gonna get with grenade first. But if we need, we could just wait for a super. But I I'm pretty confident that my grenades and Ariana's gonna kill him. So we'll put Ariana's on him, and he stops shooting because he's been hit. Reload, and that's the end of the room. Put a couple more shots on him. And there we go. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope this helps you. I hope you you, you enjoyed this run. Starting from tonight on, on Twitch, I'm going to be trying the GM. It could take me a, a, a bit of time to work it out. Uh, but we're going to give it a go. Thank you very much for watching, guys. As, as you know, I'm, or as I've said before, I'm going to keep supporting the channel. I haven't forgot about the YouTube channel. That's, that's my home. Twitch is my second home. And I hope to see a, a lot more of you guys there. Let's, I'm trying to get affiliate, so... The more support, the better. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the run. I hope this helps you guys get your score. Take it easy. 
and I will see you guys in the next video.